the beginning of the year, we are working on this project with the GTI Nismo. And now it's all down to this lab. So you can imagine the tension was really, really big. And you could see I was just checking with my left hand that the car is in R mode and all the settings are correct. And here I start to go and the time starts right here at this point. So this I take in second gear and you can see a little bit over still in the exit. The tire is not 100% um, warm yet. And come down to this really difficult section, the Hudson Park section. And uh, this is really fast here up in fifth gear. You can see the, the gears here and then down to third for this section. Um, and the car is really, really grippy here and uh, I can take a lot of speed as well as I can cut the curb here on the inside very, very good and you can see how stable the car really is and this is something we work very hard on, actually. As well as here, completely over the curb, the car keeps really stable on the ground with the wheels attached. And now um, it gets really fast, we come up to fifth gear approaching the famous Flugplatz. Um, and the car is, is really, really stable here. You can see it's, it's not taking off much and the speed's really high. And uh, we take it in fifth gear. Usually in the GTR, this is taken in fourth gear. But with the GTR Nismo now, with the, with the high level of downforce, we can actually take it in fifth. And now here we come up to 285 km per hour over that, that famous Schweden Koritz, down to fifth for this left hander. Really, really, really fast and one of the most dangerous areas. And then here it, it's a bit better, a uh, little bit time to breathe for that right hander. And then again, um, a lot of stress here down to the Fuchs Road, which is crazy, crazy fast. You can see again we go up to fifth and then to sixth. And this left hander, so compression, I take completely flat. And uh, this was really the, the forces that were here on the crazy. You can see my head going down. And then I was a bit confused here. And then I was a bit too fast here in here. And I went too much to the left here, as you can maybe see. And I, I didn't really get that corner here very good which was a bit uh, disappointing and then I hit the curb here on the exit which is actually not on purpose. That was actually we personally takes big times here. This is the first sector for me personally and uh, it was already faster than we've done before so I was actually on a, on a, on a good time. I knew that but um, I knew exactly that we're only two minutes in now that there's still a long, a long way to go and the pressure that we had to, to the target time to break the 7 minutes, 10 seconds was very, very high and uh, we were working really, really hard and this was one shot, it was at the end of the day and um, now it was, I had to really reduce the time. So there was a lot of pressure, it was not just like a, a lap for fun. This is the slowest part of the track, second year. you can see the traction is fantastic. We can hear, um, second, we immediately flat out. Also something we worked very hard on, actually, to, to get the power distribution right, to get a really good balance of It's one of my favorite uh, parts, actually. We're up now, we come up approaching the Bergwerk, now coming to the left-hander, and if you know it's been accident, the left-hand king. Very fast, this is flat in fifth gear, but it's really, really pumpy and fast. You can see the pumps here, and the car brakes really well here for Bergwerk. And here I'm really early in the throttle, really important for left hand here. Come to the second spin down here, 314. Um, this was the best we've had, I think we've seen. Um, and uh, this was really encouraging. Okay, now make no mistake. Again, here, very fast, very dangerous left hander here. Also flat, just flat, you can see the bump, the car almost jumps to the grass. Very, very risky section. And um, of course, as a driver, these sections are when the, when the heart rate goes up. And this is the, the, the famous left hander here. Normally, again, fourth gear in the, in the GTR, GTR Nismo, fifth gear, um, over 200 km per hour around that turn. And then it goes at a little bit lower speed, and uh, you can a little bit uh, relax, but not really relax, um, relax from the stress level maybe, but the concentration starts to go now after four minutes in the car. And uh, it's really tough now to, to, to focus and not make any mistakes. Famous carousel here. I take it in third gear, second gear is an option, the car is more calm in third. Coming up here, and this left hand king is very difficult to drive because it's, it's either a lift or short brake, very complicated, but I, I hit it quite well. Up to the highest point of the track here, in fourth gear, the OE8. And uh, this is actually now my favorite section, starting off the track. 
Bosgier, the famous Wiggemann coming here, the car handles extremely well with this with this downforce uh, we have. Here over the curbs here, cut shortcut here with the Wiggemann, you can see how it's jumping around, but it keeps it on the road fantastically. And here the grip level is absolutely amazing as well. Now we're approaching to get the galleries here on the left. Again here I stay in third gear and uh, maybe you can hear I'm gonna hit the limiter. Up, up, up here it goes in um, and this is better than shifting up for 10 meters and shifting down more effective here i have to shift up to fourth and back to third so everything's maxed out and here again now we i stay flat on the throttle down here which is also something we, we had to work hard on to, to achieve that it's fifth gear now here down and it's very close on the curb and then a really big jump here the car is completely in the air and uh, it felt really great around here and also here the, the, the left hander. And then this is the last jump and the last really dangerous section here, which is really tricky. Here in fifth gear, you see how narrow it is and how high the speed really is. It's, um, it's difficult to imagine when you drive through there, it's really unreal. And now I know I'm almost home. I'm a, I have just a couple of more corners here. Um, and uh, this is a problem, of course, now the concentration is really down. You've been on full focus for six minutes by now. And uh, you think, okay, I have really, before the long straight, before I can breathe, one more right-hander. And uh, I made a little mistake, here, so I was really not happy with myself. Here, yeah, the entry was good, uh, but then uh, I had to turn in here a bit early. I missed it a little bit. You can't probably see it from the video, but I, I personally know there was a mistake. So under the uh, bridge here coming up, we also have uh, a split time here, we can see 6.26, which is also, uh, usually we have been over 6.30s there in testing, so I knew that was it was going to be a good lap. Here we, we are approaching 280, 290 kilometers, 300, we are now over 300 kilometer per hour, and now I switch to the right lane, and this is flat out, now the left hand is 306 kilometer per hour, and the car will go then down to 310 in this compression here and stay in six and it's a huge compression you can see the head again moving down and then very I, I hit that very good this is also difficult to drive so i was lucky with that and then here over the curb again the car handles fantastic over bumps and the last turn here just make no mistake just around first here and that was the time and then i see it and you can see i'm really really happy um all the pressure we had over all those months of hard work came out and uh, i was really 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 pleased um, to be able to, to do this lap time. Yeah, 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 yeah.